what makes Chatham Lit everybody, the people so wonderful. You come to Shawai, you don't get judged. You in a nice environment, with good, wonderful black people. Congratulations, I'm gonna go to Brooklyn School for Music. What makes you so lit? Challenge lit is because we get to be having like real conversations with the principal. We talk to us about real life situations, we don't sugarcoat nothing, and we all got a voice. What are you doing after graduation? After graduation, I'm gonna be going to Fairview with a minor of business, and I'm going to study law. Keep going, keep going, keep going. What makes YCLA lit? What makes YCLA lit is the teachers and the staff. They always show us they love me.
they a little strict on us, but they do, they they don't be strict on us because it, it's best for us. They, I just, we got a guard. We, they just, it's like a lot of opportunity that we see. No matter what we do, they still work with us. And after, and after I graduate, I want to go to school to be a special education teacher. Y'all got a free ride to college. Oh, at least you want to go. <laughs>
some movement, man. <laughs> one more time, give me more. Keep going, keep going, keep going. To the camera, look at the camera, there you go. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fan yourself, fan yourself. There you go, there you go. Get lit, get lit, get lit. What makes West Town lit? What makes West Town lit is we got a supportive system, amazing teachers. Where are you going after graduation? Going to Wright College to study and going to Northwest to be a culinary chef. So, yeah. Where are you going after graduation? Going to Wright College to study and going to Northwest to be a culinary chef. So, yeah. What made West Town live? They got a great school, great staff, and we great to learn. What are you doing after graduation? I'm going to college and I'm going to college for a big engineer. What makes West Town live? What made West Town live? They got a great school, great staff, and we great to learn. What are you doing after graduation? I'm going to college and I'm going to college for a big engineer. What makes West Town live? What makes West Town live is that we have an amazing supportive system and uh, the connection that teachers have with students. What are you doing after graduation? I'm going to Lincoln University or Lincoln Tech, wherever it is, to study mechanics. What makes West Town live? What makes West Town live is that we have an amazing supportive system and uh, the connection that teachers have with students. What are you doing after graduation? I'm going to Lincoln University or Lincoln Tech, wherever it is, to study mechanics. What makes West Town lit? What makes West Town lit is, uh, you know, great staff, support of the teachers, and support of some of the students, too. And they help out for all over the school. What are you doing after graduation? Uh, hopefully go to Truman and then get myself uh, into the Admodal career. What makes West Town lit? What makes West Town lit is, uh, you know, great staff, support of the teachers, and support of some of the students, too. And they help out for all over the school.
Mason Spirit lit is because we all chill with each other, we all cool, and we all family and What are you doing after graduation? Uh, I'm going to go to college for marketing and business. Uh, well, Mason Spirit lit is because we all chill with each other, we all cool, and we all family and What are you doing after graduation? Uh, I'm going to go to college for marketing and business. What makes the Spirit lit? What makes us feel lit is we treat each other like family, the staff is super nice to us. What makes the spirit lit? What makes the spirit lit? What makes the spirit lit? What makes the spirit lit, man? We all know each other. We all can help each other out. No one's sad. We all good vibes here. Where are you going after graduation? After graduation, I'm going to my sister's college, Grand Valley State University, Engineering. What makes the spirit lit? What makes the spirit lit, man? We all know each other. We all can help each other out. No one's sad. We all good vibes here. Where are you going after graduation? After graduation, I'm going to my sister's college, Grand Valley State University, Engineering. What makes the spirit lit? What makes the spirit lit is the students and teachers all come together as one. Where are you going after graduation? Nursing school. What makes the spirit lit? What makes the spirit lit is the students and teachers all come together as one. Where are you going after graduation? Nursing school. What makes PLA lit? PLA lit is that we all come together and they all support us. Where are you going after graduation? I'm going to NIU uh, for four years to become a nurse. Give me a face. Shake the pom pom. What makes PLA lit? PLA is your best school. You got family, friends, everything. Everyone's helping out. Where are you going after graduation? Hopefully to the Army, then college, real estate. What makes PLA lit? PLA is your best school. We got family, friends, everything. Everyone's helping out. Where are you going after graduation? Hopefully to the army, then college, real estate. What makes PLA live? What makes PLA live is we stick together, nobody ever have. What makes PLA live? What makes PLA live is we stick together, nobody ever have. Where are you going after graduation? Hopefully not the Where are you going after graduation? Hopefully not the Where are you going after graduation? Our support and our family that we all together. Where are you going after graduation? I'm going to Malcolm X College for physical therapy. What makes MLLA lit? Our support and our family that we all together. Where are you going after graduation? I'm going to Malcolm X College for physical therapy. 
What makes McKinley lit? What makes McKinley lit? We like a family. We close. Uh, they treat us. They treat us with love. Where are you going after graduation? I will be serving our country as a, as a U.S. Navy SEAL. Yes. What makes McKinley lit? What makes McKinley lit? We like a family. We close. Uh, they treat us. They treat us with love. Where are you going after graduation? I will be serving our country as a, as a U.S. Navy SEAL. Yes. What makes McKinley lit? What makes McKinley Lakeside lit is the support that we get from our teachers and the staff members. Where are you going after graduation? I'm a U.S. Army say, uh, soldier. <laughs> what makes McKinley lit? What makes McKinley Lakeside lit is the support that we get from our teachers and the staff members. Where are you going after graduation? I'm a U.S. Army say, uh, soldier. What makes McKinley lit? The thing that makes McKinley lit is that we, are, we have a small school and we love one another and it's one happy family. Where are you going after graduation? Well, when I graduate, I'm going to a um, cosmetology school and get my license for cosmetology. What makes McKinley lit? The thing that makes McKinley lit is that we, are, we have a small school and we love one another and it's one happy family. Where are you going after graduation? Well, when I graduate, I'm going to a uh, Stand as one as black and blue. Where are you going after graduation? I'm going to Kennedy King College to get a trade in culinary school. And yeah, I'm gonna work my dad's restaurant. What makes YCCS lit? Yeah, what makes YCCS lit is because we all stand as one. We all together. We all powerful. We all smart. We individuals. And we stand as one as black and blue. Where are you going after graduation? I'm going to Kennedy King College to get a trade in culinary school. And yeah, I'm gonna work my dad's restaurant. What makes YCCS West lit? What makes YCCS West lit? We turn up, we work together, we have our fun. Where are you going after graduation? I'm going to a city college, I'm going to be an obstetrician. What makes YCCS West lit? What makes YCCS West lit? We turn up, we work together, we have our fun. Where are you going after graduation? I'm going to a city college, I'm going to be an obstetrician. What makes YCCS West lit? What makes YCCS West lit is our students not in um, individual diversity and creativity and culture. Where are you going after graduation? Um, um, a city college, maybe Malcolm X. What makes YCCS West lit? What makes YCCS West lit is our students not in um, individual diversity and creativity and culture. Where are you going after graduation? Um, um, a city college, maybe Malcolm X. What makes YCCS West lit? What makes YCTS lit is the teachers and the students, like they always make you laugh. Where are you going after graduation? Um, I'm going to Michael Max or UIC to become a nurse. What makes YCTS West lit? What makes YCTS lit is the teachers and the students, like they always make you laugh. Where are you going after graduation? Um, I'm going to Michael Max or UIC to become a nurse. What makes YCCS West lit? What makes YCCS West lit? Uh, the teachers push us to strive for greatness. Also, they push us to do our work and complete all of our work on time, as well as being good educated students. 
Where are you going after graduation? Well, I'm going after uh, graduation. I uh, will be attending Washington College of Mortuary Science and major in Mortuary Science. What makes YCCS West lit? What makes YCCS West lit? Uh, the teachers push us to strive for greatness. Also, they push us to do our work and complete all of our work on time, as well as being good educated students. Where are you going after graduation? Well, I'm going after uh, graduation. I uh, will be attending Washington College of Mortuary Science and major in Mortuary Science. So my name is Hugo Sunchow and I am here for True Star Media. And what we do is we're a nonprofit organization who hires you to come together and produce content. Right now we're here celebrating the Chicago football classics. Uh, we're actually walking around giving out tickets and all kind of content. We gotta make sure that students are dancing and having fun. Um, one of the main things that True Star does is, like I said, is we help the youth in producing different forms of content. And that can be through digital media, it could be through ads, it could be through web design, different ways in order for the youth to come together and produce media on a digital platform. Um, what we did today was we came in today and set up every poster that you see, helped set up the whole backdrop in order to get today done. Uh, as far as coming in with Hot Rod and the Pep Rally Takeover, who is one of our huge partners with True Star, we've been going around to different schools and this happens to be a charter network who came together and we gave them the ultimate celebration. And we're giving out tickets all day. The tickets don't stop. I got so many, I can't even count right now. Like, see, I can just drop them. There's so many. And the students are having so much fun. It's lit. Chicago Classics. So my name is Hugo Sunchow and I am here for True Star Media. And what we do is we're a nonprofit organization who hires you to come together and produce content. Right now we're here celebrating the Chicago football classics. Uh, we're actually walking around giving out tickets and all kind of content. We gotta make sure that students are dancing and having fun. Um, one of the main things that True Star does is, like I said, is we help the youth in producing different forms of content. And that can be through digital media, it could be through ads, it could be through web design, different ways in order for the youth to come together and produce media on a digital platform. Um, what we did today was we came in today and set up every poster that you see, helped set up the whole backdrop in order to get today done. Uh, as far as coming in with Hot Rod and the Pep Rally Takeover, who is one of our huge partners with True Star, we've been going around to different schools and this happens to be a charter network who came together and we gave them the ultimate celebration. And we're giving out tickets all day. The tickets don't stop. I got so many, I can't even count right now. Like, see, I can just drop them. There's so many. And the students are having so much fun. It's lit. Chicago Classics. On behalf of Youth Connection Charter School, we thank you for allowing the women of Hampton University to be present at today's pep rally. We are also representing ladies of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, promoting their CAPS program. CAPS stands for College Admission Process. We have applications available on site if you are interested in learning more information. Also, HBCU Classic this weekend. Why would we represent anybody else other than Hampton? So Hampton. go Pirates! Yay. HBCU for life. On behalf of Youth Connection Charter School, we thank you for allowing the women of Hampton University to be present at today's pep rally. We are also representing ladies of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, promoting their CAPS program. CAPS stands for College Admission Process. We have applications available on site if you are interested in learning more information. 
Also, HBCU Classic this weekend. Why would we represent anybody else other than Hampton? So Hampton. go Pirates! Yay. HBCU for life. So what was going on today? Today we hosted a youth rally for the charter schools. These are the best kids that we've hosted, well, in my 20-year career here. They were polite, they weren't destructive, and they're gonna go far. They will be the next presidents, vice presidents, CEOs of our world. And what was going on today? It was a school rally for Youth Connections, and how were, charter schools. How, were, uh, how did you and YCCS and Salvation Army get together? I'm the community center director, and they contacted me. They wanted to see the space. The space was what they needed. So we did a contract, and here we are today. And they are welcome back anytime. So what was going on today? Today we hosted a youth rally for the charter schools. These are the best kids that we've hosted, well, in my 20-year career here. They were polite, they weren't destructive, and they're going to go far. They will be the next presidents, vice presidents, CEOs of our world. And what was going on today? It was a school rally for Youth Connections and how were, charter schools. How, were, uh, how did you and YCCS and Salvation Army get together? I'm the community center director, and they contacted me. They wanted to see the space. The space was what they needed. So we did a contract, and here we are today. And they are welcome back anytime. Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Hot Rod. Pet Riley Takeover. We in the building. Brandy, B-Man with the moves. Jalea and Bree. We all out here. So uh, we supporting YCCS. Uh, came out. Shout out to True Star as well for bringing us out. Uh, but yeah, we just here turning up with the kids, having fun. That's what we do. And how can we follow you Instagram? Oh, yeah. Instagram at Pet Riley Takeover. That's P-E-P-R-A-L-L-Y-T-A. K E O B E R. That's that public school. That's that public school. Nah. <laughs> we out here though, no, man. Are we all public school kids, and how but. Was the event was great. Super lit. Very we, dope. we grabbed some dope moments. Uh, the team definitely was out uh, rocking with the kids. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was just amazing. I can't wait to see a recap. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Hot Rod. Pet Riley Takeover. We in the building. Brandy, B-Man with the moves. Jalea and Bree. We all out here. So uh, we supporting YCCS. Uh, came out. Shout out to True Star as well for bringing us out. Uh, but yeah, we just here turning up with the kids, having fun. That's what we do. And, and how can we follow you Instagram? Oh, yeah. Instagram, at Pet Riley Takeover. That's P-E-P-R-A-L-L-Y-T-A. K E O B E R. That's that public school. That's that public school. Nah. <laughs> we out here though, man. Are we all public school kids, and how but. Did the, event go today? the event was great. Super lit. Very we, dope. we grabbed some dope moments. Uh, the team definitely was out uh, rocking with the kids. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was just amazing. I can't wait to see a recap. <clears throat> they crazy. Oh, they all crazy. Thanks for having us. It's crazy. You. Wonderful. It was definitely lit. It was definitely lit. We looking for it. Our goal is to really get all the kids from the uh, charter schools, the YCCS schools. I heard it's like 4,000 of y'all, so we definitely want to do one big rally. And I think that'd be super lit with a big special guest. So, uh, yeah, we're working on that. Stay tuned. Uh, uh. They crazy. Okay. They all crazy. Thanks for having us. Thank crazy. You. Wonderful. It was definitely lit. It was definitely lit. We Next looking forward. I mean, our I'm our gonna, goal is to really get all the kids from the uh, charter schools, the YCCS schools. I heard it's like 4,000 of y'all, so we definitely want to do one big rally. And I think that'd be super lit with a big special guest. So, uh, yeah, we're working on that. Stay tuned. Uh, uh. Today, we are so excited. We're hosting the Youth Connection Charter School Takeover 
pep rally. And it's all about post-secondary, about getting our students from YCCS to college. Because our goal is not just what's happening here today in high school, but it's about graduating and then going on to college to graduate from high, I'm sorry, to graduate from college. It's about graduating from high school and moving on to college and graduating from college. We have post-secondary in mind when our students walk into the YCCS doors. Why? Because we know that our kids can do whatever they put their minds to. We're here with a plethora, a great many of programs and services that help wrap around our students for them to be able to get the job done. That means raising up their GPAs, raising up their reading and math levels. That means getting them re-engaged into school. If you didn't like school, before, you're going to like it when you come to YCCS. Why? Because we have people who are going to surround our kids who love them, meaning that we want to serve our kids. We're not here just to make sure that you get a diploma. We're here to make sure that our students are ready for the world when we have several programs. And I want to tell you one that YCCS sponsors every year, that civic engagement. Through civic engagement, we have a program all of our campuses can take part in, and that is getting our students to understand their part in making sure that their government works for them, and not the other way around. If we're voting, if we're making sure that we're voting, then we want to make sure that our students are getting the type of representation that they need from our legislators, right? And so at YCCS, we think this is very important. And one of the civic engagement programs is Social Justice Institute. At the Social Justice Institute, our kids, it's a cohort of students from all across our campuses, our 19 campuses located throughout Chicago, and these students are learning about social justice, learning about the history of social justice movements, and preparing for pathways to college and careers in social justice. Isn't that great? Where else is this happening? Where else, <laughs> where else is this happening? not at any other high school in the whole United States, but it's happening right here at Youth Connection Charter School. Now, Youth Connection Charter School was started back in 2017. Youth Connection Charter School started back in 1995, and it started as an answer to the dropout rate in the city of Chicago, which was about 50% at that time. Now, if you look at the Chicago graduation rate, it has increased, and we take credit for that, along with the ecological education system, our educational ecosystem along with our education ecosystem partners, and those are community-based organizations that offer educational services to their students as well as other referral services. Now, those are programs like Latino Youth, who have mental health programs like Association House, like the Greater West Town program, and more. And so we are happy to produce these types of services in partnership with a great number of community organizations who have been around for over 40 years. Did you know that YCCS is a level one plus high school? That's saying something. In Chicago, we take students who were not working, where they were not working out in traditional high school systems and who have chronic attendance issues and barriers to education, and we transform this system for them to work for them. And guess what? They are performing at level one plus levels. Aren't you excited? I am. If you want to apply, go to apply to yccs.com. That's A P. P L Y Y C C S dot com. Apply to YCCS dot com and we will help you get into any one of our 19 campuses all across the city of Chicago. As far north as Truman Middle College, as far south as Olive Harvey Middle College. We even have a downtown um, campus. We even have a downtown campus at Innovations High School and a number on the south and west sides of Chicago. Join us. Join the movement, join the movement, join the movement. Youth Connection Charter School, where a kid can be a kid. No, Youth Connection Charter School, where it's not just a second chance, but a better chance. That was nice. Today, 
We are so excited. We're hosting the Youth Connection Charter School Takeover Pep Rally. And it's all about post-secondary, about getting our students from YCCS to college. Because our goal is not just what's happening here today in high school, but it's about graduating and then going on to college to graduate from high, I'm sorry, to graduate from college. It's about graduating from high school and moving on to college and graduating from college. We have post-secondary in mind when our students walk into the YCCS doors. Why? Because we know that our kids can do whatever they put their minds to. We're here with a plethora, a great many of programs and services that help wrap around our students for them to be able to get the job done. That means raising up their GPAs, raising up their reading and math levels. That means getting them re-engaged into school. If you didn't like school, before you're gonna like it when you come to YCCS. Why? Because we have people who are gonna surround our kids who love them, meaning that we want to serve our kids. We're not here just to make sure that you get a diploma. We're here to make sure that our students are ready for the world. When we have several programs, and I want to tell you one that YCCS sponsors every year, that civic engagement. Through civic engagement, we have a program all of our campuses can take part in, and that is getting our students to understand their part in making sure that their government works for them, and not the other way around. If we're voting, if we're making sure that we're voting, then we want to make sure that our students are getting the type of representation that they need from our legislators, right? And so at YCCS, we think this is very important. And one of the civic engagement programs is Social Justice Institute. At the Social Justice Institute, our kids, it's a cohort of students from all across our campuses, our 19 campuses located throughout Chicago, and these students are learning about social justice, learning about the history of social justice movements, and preparing for pathways to college and careers in social justice. Isn't that great? Where else is this happening? Where else is, <laughs> where else is this happening? not at any other high school in the whole United States, but it's happening right here at Youth Connection Charter School. Now, Youth Connection Charter School was started back in 2017. Youth Connection Charter School started back in 1995, and it started as an answer to the dropout rate in the city of Chicago, which was about 50% at that time. Now, if you look at the Chicago graduation rate, it has increased and we take credit for that, along with the ecological education system, our educational ecosystem, along with our education ecosystem partners. And those are community-based organizations that offer educational services to their students as well as other referral services. Now, those are programs like Latino youth who have mental health programs, like Association House, like the Greater West Town program, and more. And so we are happy to produce these types of services in partnership with a great number of community organizations who have been around for over 40 years. Did you know that white CCS is a level one plus high school, that's saying something. In Chicago, we take students who were not working, where they were not working out in traditional high school systems and who have chronic attendance issues and barriers to education, and we transform this system for them to work for them. And guess what? They are performing at level one plus levels. Aren't you excited? I am. If you want to apply, go to apply to yccs.com. That's A P P L Y Y C C S. Dot com. Apply to YCCS.com and we will help you get into any one of our 19 campuses all across the city of Chicago. As far north as Truman Middle College, as far south as Olive Harvey Middle College. We even have a downtown um, campus. We even have a downtown campus at Innovations High School and a number on the south and west sides of Chicago. Join us. Join the movement. Join the movement. Join the movement, Youth Connection Charter School, where a kid can be a kid, no. Youth Connection Charter School, 
where it's not just a second chance, but a better chance. Hello, my name is Cliff Rollins, and I am the IT Director for Youth Connection Charter School. And I'm happy to be in front of you today because some of the things that we do at the Charter, so many people don't know what we do, but it's a blessing to be part of this Charter organization because at the end of the day, we're trying to change lives and we're trying to make a difference in people's lives, especially the youth of Chicago who often come to us from an environment that's not really supportive of their dreams and their hopes in their life. So as a tech director, one of my goals is to bring new technology to them, as well as provide system support for the campuses and our students and our teachers and our, our educators. And we do that in a host of ways, okay? We bring in grants. Uh, the current grant for our student population is all about giving them access to the internet. Uh, we have the Sprint One Million program, which we have currently going on right now which provides uh, tablets, uh, cell phones, as well as hotspots at 10 gigs a month for each student who wants to sign up. So we're also you know, amping up the schools with fiber technology to improve the internet services, as well as bringing in uh, free uh, video training. Should any student want it, we're gonna give them a video training platform so they can have access to the, to the internet technology so they can learn on their own and learn how to grow and gain because too often there's a challenge with them not understanding that they can make a difference and they do make a difference in their lives. And our goal is to hopefully spark that interest and get them motivated to move forward and hopefully build a life and a future for that young man and woman. So like I said, this is Youth Connection Charter School. We're trying to do the right thing. We will do the right thing and we will be supportive of our students in this new age environment that we live in today. Thank you for listening. We're trying to change lives and we're trying to make a difference in people's lives, especially the youth of Chicago who often come to us from an environment that's not really supportive of their dreams and their hopes and their life. So as a tech director, one of my goals is to bring new technology to them as well as provide system support for the campuses and our students and our teachers and our, our educators. And we do that in a host of ways, okay? We bring in grants. Uh, the current grant for our student population is all about giving them access to the internet. Uh, we have the Sprint One Million program, which we have currently going on right now, which provides uh, tablets, uh, cell phones, as well as hotspots at 10 gigs a month for each student who wants to sign up. So we're also, you know, amping up the schools with fiber technology to improve the internet services, as well as bringing in uh, free uh, video training. Should any student want it, we're gonna give them a video training platform so they can have access to the, to the internet technology so they can learn on their own and learn how to grow and gain. Because too often there's a challenge with them not understanding that they can make a difference and they do make a difference in their lives. And our goal is to hopefully spark that interest and get them motivated to move forward and hopefully build a life and a future for that young man and woman. So like I said, this is Youth Connection Charter School. We're trying to do the right thing. We will do the right thing. And we will be supportive of our students in this new age environment that we live in today. Thank you for listening.